Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hey. I love to see you guys coming in here it's early. Good morning, Trina. At his... Morning, morning. Okay, everybody. So, welcome to Wake Up to Makeup. And if it is your first time here, I'm Deandra Giselle. I have, I, I don't know. Gray eyes. No, I wear contacts so I can see and then they're colored. Yay! Thank you for joining. So if it's your first time here, I am Deandra Giselle. I'm a hair and makeup artist. And every day, Monday through Friday, so we do a good morning from Jersey. Hello. We do a um, wake up to makeup, which is different makeup tips. Thank you. I don't need it, but I love it. We do different makeup tips, and you guys can email me tips and tutorials that you guys would like to see. Good morning from San Diego, and you can email from the to DeandraGiselle at gmail.com, and I'll tell you guys at the end of this Periscope. Today, we are doing a Cookie Lion-inspired look, so Taraji P. Henson, and the reason being is she always does, like, something bright if you guys watch um the show empire she does something bright the very season the very first season finale or um opening the very first show she did a green eye and a pink lip so while i was just looking on the internet for inspirational looks to show you guys i saw one where she's doing a purple eye and like a pinkish lipstick and it was she just looked great so I decided I was gonna do a look similar to that um, for those of you guys who are new to Periscope there is a little person on the bottom right corner if you guys could tap that and share and invite with all your friends on all your social media and all your followers here on Periscope that would be great also there are hearts going up thank you already for the hearts if you could just tap them and show some love what that does it helps me become a um, featured artist here on Periscope so I appreciate all you guys now let's get started what I did already is I filled in my eyebrows and I started one eye and why I did that is just to save some time so that we can get through so we can be done around 730. So I am going to start with this eye. We're starting with eyeshadow first and then we will move on to the rest of the face. I am going to be using some of the dupes. If you watch Liz and I's dupes show on Saturday, which you guys can still watch on my YouTube channel, Deandra Giselle. Um we did dupes so my eyeshadows are not dupes but the lipstick and the foundation um are good will be thank you i appreciate you tuning in will be some of the stuff will be from the dupes just so you guys can see it actually in a look so first step is i am trying out i'm switching up some stuff i'm trying out the lime crime eyeshadow brightener and so that's gonna replace my neutral um, my NYX base that I normally use and it's going to um, go on my lid as my eyeshadow base which is always something you should use when you're putting on eyeshadow if you guys can see here it's white and the reason why I'm using it is because I want my eyeshadow to really pop a little goes a long way I purchased this and I was kind of upset because I used it and it actually seemed like it swallowed up my color but if you use just a little tiny 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 bit it actually does make your eyeshadow brighter so we're spreading that on the lid with a flat stiff brush and just a thin layer making sure that it is 
even all throughout the application. So making sure the entire space is covered. And as always, we have Scotty Fingers here helping us out, my babe. So as I say things, he will post it so that you guys don't miss it and you guys know how to spell everything. So we did a thin layer there. We're using a flat, fluffy brush, not a stiff one, but a fluffy one. And we're working out of the Urban Decay palette. So the dupe for this one was the BH 120 palette. That was actually in Liss's collection, so I don't have that one. But if you don't have this palette by Urban Decay, you can get the BH Cosmetics palette 120. It's, yeah, it's called BH Cosmetics 120 palette. And this, in, but it has all of the similar colors and then some. So I'm using this color right here. It's called Urban. You got it in Paris? Well, how much was it in Paris? Please tell me. I just want to know if they're more expensive or less than us. And we are going to pat it on the eye. The reason why we're patting and not wiping is so we can get the most pigmentation. And the reason why we used a fluffy brush instead of a stiff brush is because we want to be able to move around. So when I'm applying this, oh, it was 54, okay, so it's about the same. So when I'm applying this, I am actually stopping just a little bit below my brow bone. My brow bone is actually right here, and I'm leaving a space because I want to add like a pinkish color. And if you guys have false lashes already on, you when you're trying to get closer to the lash line with your color, just switch your position so you can get closer to the lash line. Now I'm going to use a pink tone. It's going to be this one right here. It's called Jilt. No, that's not what it's called. Okay, I can't see what it's called. It's wiped off. I'm sorry, but it's this pink tone right here. And in that space that I left just before my brow bone, I am just going to tap the color right there. And then I'm going to bring it down into the purple because I want it to almost look like a gradient. So this look is going to be really fun. If you guys follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, I posted the inspirational look. So later on today, you guys can see this look versus the inspirational look. It's going to be slightly different because it's just inspirational. It's not going to be exact. And then, of course, if you guys have questions, I do look during the broadcast, so feel free to ask away. So after I've tapped it in there, we're just going to bring it down. Thank you. The Lime Crime Brightener, I, I actually now like it just because it really does brighten the eyeshadow even more. I can show you guys a difference. So using what was left on my hand, I'll swatch it out for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys the difference between using the brightener and not using the brightener. Just really quick. Although with the um, Urban Decay palette, it's very... It's very pigmented, so it's not hard to get a vibrant color. So here's the difference. This is without the eyeshadow brightener, and this is with the brightener. So it looks like it just kind of, it just made it pop more, which is what brightener would do. Good morning, how are you? So, yeah, it made a huge difference. So you, I like it, I would suggest it. 
So if you see my tutorials before, I always talk in a, I always talk about a transition color. I have a favorite brown transition color, and we did not have a dupe for this one. I ordered your silica and showed. Oh yay, that's a good one. I ordered my brushes from Kayla. Yay! The brush video on YouTube, you know what? I'm gonna have to redo the brush video because I'll do it on my YouTube um, channel because I didn't record it that day. A cheap contour brush. You know, um, Morphe Brushes has a contour brush for $14 and it looks like this. Um, so this one is like $14.95 if you just want the brush. But if you go to ColstalSense.com, you can get a whole kit with a 22 piece for $30 and I think $17 for a 12 piece kit and it has a contour brush in it. So this is going to be my transition color. Whenever I write wear bright colors, I always do a brown in it in my or on my brow bone so it just kind of tones it down and this is my favorite brown transition color it's from lime crime called icon another good one is there's a contour out of this contour pal palette i have heard of them um i haven't used them enough to compare them to the coastal sense one um i will say i have like I've heard good things about them, but I can't really speak to how they're used because I haven't used them. But I'll, I'll try to get a brush so I can compare the two. So if you don't have a transition color that you like and you have this palette because some of you guys, oh, my palette just broke. Some of you guys said that you've purchased it. You can use um, the brown in this palette. Oh, my favorite palette broke. That means I have to buy it today. Did you guys hate that? Look at that. It's like sad. All over my clothes. Okay, let's move on. So we are going to add, using my MAC 224 blending brush. It's a large blending brush. I'm just going to put the product at the tip of the brush, not a lot. I know, that really, like, you guys don't even know how sad that made me. Like, I will have to order that today because I use that every single day. And that's from City Color Effects, my contour palette. And what I'm doing is a windshield wiper motion, just like that. And we're blending it so there's no, like, abrupt stop. And sometimes I'll go around and just make sure everything is clean. Um, their website is citycolor.com, I think, is their website. I'm pretty sure I posted it on the dupes video. You're welcome. All right, so the eyeshadow part is done. We are going to be using Max Smolder Eye Coal Pencil, and uh, I don't. There is a dupe for this one, and I believe it's by Wet n Wild. You just need a black eyeliner pencil that can move around that smudges. Wait, did you say, Brown Sweetie Bird, did you say you ordered this for $6.89? Please tell me. Oh my gosh, if so, you, I need to know. Oh, okay, on eBay, I'm gonna be there today. Six, yeah, because I think I spent like $15 for that. Well, with shipping, six eighty nine. You get you brighten my day a little bit. <laughs> you really brighten my day, cause like I use that palette in every single one of my tutorials, so I got really sad when it broke. 
Okay, so what I did is I put the black in the, on my inner water line and I did a little bit out and then also on top. The next one is we're going to take a uh, smudge. No, we're not gonna take a smudge brush, sorry. We're gonna take a smaller flat brush. <laughs> Do you get most of your products online? A lot of times, yes, because I don't have time to um, shop all the time. So, yes, a lot of times I do get stuff offline. Um, I'm using a fluffy flat brush, and I'm going to go underneath and sm smidge, smudge the black eyeliner pencil. The other eye. What I'm doing is because I want it to look like a slight smoky eye. I don't, I don't want to have any harsh lines. I just kind of want to bring it out a little bit. And we'll do the same on top. And when I am blending this or moving around, I do wear makeup every day. Um, except for, well, I used to not wear makeup on Mondays because it was my off day. But I wear makeup every day and skincare is really important. That is where, if you guys buy, you know, dupes for your makeup kit, they're, they work well. But when it comes to skincare, you actually need to spend your money on skincare because the foundation you know, before you put your foundation on, your skin needs to be good. I am, I am so going to be on eBay as soon as this broadcast is over. So my skincare regimen is I use Dermalogica for washing my face. I use an eye cream so that I don't get any wrinkles. Um, and a moisturizer. I have oily to combination skin because I'm oily in my T-zone. So I buy uh, Dermalogica from Ulta. And it is pricey, but I buy the Traveler's Kit. And that lasts me like two, three months. And with the Traveler's Kit, everything is smaller, but it gives me everything for my skin in that kit. And it's like 40 bucks, and it has everything you'll need. You'll just have to have someone they call it map out your face to see what type of skin you have. Because in some areas you'll have oily skin, some is combination, some might be dry. They'll be able to map that out for you guys. Okay, so what I'm doing is just spreading that out. And then I'm going to set it with a black eyeshadow, which is going to be uh, Carbon by MAC because I didn't have that dupe. Yes, they have like an esthetician there um, at Alta. I don't know about all. Um... <laughs> Good. I don't know exactly if every single Alta Alta does, but they have a um, like by the beauty salon area. There's usually a skincare area set up, and you can ask someone to help you figure out your skin color. Yeah, carbon is a nice color. All right, so even though I already have um, eyelashes on, I still want to apply. I have flares on, but uh, my flares are missing a few lashes and so instead of filling them in I decided to put strips on so yesterday or after the dupe show listen I was talking about foundations and the foundation that I normally use is liquid halo and it is by Smashbox or I'll use Mary Kay bronze 607 but Liz wanted me to try Revlon Color Stay, which is at the drugstore. And she uses two of them and blends them together. So I got the two because 
uh, was it Rite Aid? Rite Aid is having a sale on foundations. All their Revlon products are 40% off. So it was like a fraction of the cost of what I paid for my uh, Smashbox. So we're going to try that on camera today. And if I don't like it, guys, I will be wiping it off. So don't judge me, but I have to. I wanted to try it on camera to share with you guys. So just a thin layer of glue and let it get tacky. Let it dry just a little bit. Oh, yay, do this eye for your date. That would be great. So you use it every day. Okay. The thing that, um, the reason why I'm doing two colors from for the foundation is because they didn't, like, there was one that was too dark. It looked too dark for me, and then the other one definitely was too light. So, I just applied one of my lashes. I love that you guys are interacting. This is great. You guys are helping me out too. Especially when it comes to that palette that just broke. So, what I'm doing now is just pushing my lashes down to my waterline. Or, not my waterline just above my lash line. Why? Because it's important. <clears throat> you know what? Um, I will say that um, when I was looking for color state, not all of them have darker skin colors. Um, not all the drugstores. Like they stop at, what was it? Like they'll stop at caramel, but they'll not have the long one. So, that's funny you should say that, because I want to say that uh, matching your foundations, I'll be doing that show this week as well. I want to say tomorrow or Wednesday, because it's a task. But when it comes to the drugstore, you have to get the, the shade that matches you the closest, so you'll have to pick up the bottle and um, kind of see if it matches. The only thing... Uh, congratulations on a successful lash application. Um, the only thing with the with this is if you're matching it and it doesn't work when you go home, the good part about drugstore makeup is they'll take it back, you no, know, even if it's open. So we tuck the corners and we're, you are welcome. Yes, because I tried another foundation yesterday. It was called, it was by Revlon, but it was called Airbrush Effects. And I didn't like it because it had like glitter in it. And I don't, I don't particularly like glitter in my foundation. I want to be able to control how shiny I am. Yes, it will. You just have to change how much of the purple you put on. Maybe you want to put less, but yes, it will. I haven't really used e.l.f. cosmetics, but I hear good things about them. I had to take that lash off because I missed my window of opportunity to apply it. It got too dry. Um, but I heard great things about e.l.f. cosmetics. Uh, one of these days, I plan to go to the store and buy nothing but um, makeup from the drugstore and do a full face for you guys. Brushes, but not their makeup. All right, so after this, we need to clean up this area a little bit before we apply our foundation. 
and um, Scotty, are you on? Can you? Never mind. I need my uh, makeup remover, but it's okay. All right, you guys. Who's matte lipsticks? So we tuck, we're tucking him in. I'm gonna move out of frame for a minute because I can't see. All right, finally, we have our lashes on. <laughs> okay, sis, I will, I will send that to you. All right. After all that drama, my lashes are finally on. So let's uh, clean up our eye area, make sure there's no fallout. But you guys, hold on a second. I, I moved something. All right, so I use, to remove my makeup every night, I use these makeup wipes and they're from walmart and they come two in a pack i love them they're like uh i think they're like four bucks so i am wiping away making sure there's no purple underneath my eye yeah those are amazing i used to spend some a pretty amount of um the tweezers, these tweezers are from a store. It's called the Daiso store. And it has a lot of like um, Asian, uh, like, what is it called? The, um, I can't think of the name. The characters that, like the cat looking characters has a lot of them there. And um, anyways, these tweezers are like a dollar. It's called the Daiso store. Yeah, the Daiso store has a lot of good things in there. I actually, it's like a dollar store on steroids. All right, so our eyes are done. Now let's do our foundation. First step is we're going to use a Smashbox Photo Finish. And this is good for those of you guys who have oily skin because it is oil free. Sanri, thank you, yes. It has a lot of that stuff in there. So we're applying our foundation primer in an upward motion all over the face. It's Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and it's oil free. And that is what it looks like. So here are the two foundations, Revlon Color Stay, these two, and I'm using caramel and I'm using cappuccino. So this is my first time. That, pri that primer is amazing. It makes sure that your face, if you're oily, it makes sure it kind of mattifies your face before you put on your uh, foundation. So I'm going to do the lighter one first, which is caramel, 41410 exactly. So I'm going to do a little bit of that one. All right, you guys, this is, this is a trial. And I'm going to do a little bit of the 410, which is cappuccino. And we're going to blend it all together. And if I like it, then I will pre-blend everything in a bottle. That looks like too much. Oh no, what should I use to mix it? I'll use this. So we're gonna blend it up and see if we can get a good color match. Oh, we might. Why is that too dark? Okay, so let's see what we think about this. I think that mixing the two is not a bad idea. 
and I only liked I only got it because everything was 40% off but buying two yes when I just did the 400 um, I actually looked at a tint a hint too light it, it almost was ashy I need the 410 for the warmth Cause I tried it just by itself and it, it did it I think I have too much uh, I don't know I just felt like it wasn't warm enough oh this is my Kaylin oh wow brush that I absolutely adore my Kaylin oh wow brush and it's online I believe you can get I believe you can get this brush from Amazon and it's around 20 bucks. Thank you. That is exactly why I needed the two. So the reason why I blended the two is because cappuccino, like she said, is too orange, right? And then this one doesn't have that much warmth at all, which is the, the caramel. So I, I needed both of them to kind of um, do what I needed it to do. You're right. <laughs> yeah, this brush is everything because it buffers. It does everything in one swoop. So the next thing that I'm using is LA Pro Girl Concealer. And this is in the color Toffee. This was a brand that we talked about a lot in our dupes video. I'm using this flash stiff, stiff brush, flat stiff brush. Thank you. And this is actually, the foundation was actually Miss Kev on stage uh, suggestion. So we will continue to use it because it actually wasn't bad. I normally use Mary Kay at times. Uh, Mary Kay has a lot of foundations that you don't even have to mix, but it's if you have a lot of yellow um, in your undertone, like sometimes it can be too dark or too orange. Your concealer should be two to three shades lighter than your foundation. So we are highlighting our entire face right now. And yes, two to three shades lighter. And the reason being, this concealer is LA Pro Girl in the shade Toffee. And the reason being is because you are trying to bring, when you're using concealer, you're trying to bring light to your face. You don't want it to be the same color as your foundation. Otherwise, it doesn't conceal or hide any blemishes or get rid of dark circles, things like that. Yes two to three shades lighter and it has to be the same tone as your foundation is so if it if you ha are wearing a warm color foundation your concealer needs to be warm as well and I'm gonna be explaining that when we talk about matching your foundation this week so this is highlighting your brows so if you need your eyebrows done to help keeping my makeup off Wait, I could barely... Sis, you have to repost that. I didn't get it. Or, Scotty, did you read that comment? So, when you're highlighting... Oh, okay, sorry. Um, when you're highlighting your brows here, whenever you need your brows actually done... Sis, just text that question to me so I can read it in depth. So when you're highlighting your brows and you need your eyebrows actually done, I always use this step to make it look like my brows are done because it's about that time for me to get it done. Of clown contouring? I have not heard of clown contouring. Is that a real thing?
Babe, what is on fleek? Okay, so I'm going to look up clown concert on YouTube and I will have an answer for you tomorrow on what I think about clown concert. Because honestly, you guys, some of this stuff that they're showing you is nothing but regular highlight and contour. Um, so I will show you guys or I'll tell, answer that question after I look it up. Oh my gosh. So... A lot of times, if you have dark circles, the reds can't get so extra. Okay, I'm going to check it out. So, what I'm doing is I'm blending in my concealer into my foundation so that I do not have any harsh lines and when it comes to this area right here you sometimes I'll switch to my fingers because you want to make sure that you have blended in your concealer up to where the black that we smudged is All right, so once everything is blended, we are going to set. For makeup removal, I use these wipes from Walmart. And it's by, it's Walmart, Walmart, Walmart brand. I do use the fingers for smaller areas, like to get in the crevices of places. Or when I don't want to blend out too much. I think I got a little bit of purple in there. Thank you. Okay, so that is all blended in. I appreciate you guys. That is the goal. Makeup is supposed to enhance your beauty. It's not, I do swear by the blending sponge by the Beauty Blender. So that's all done. I am going to set my highlight powder with, or set my highlight with this powder, RCMA Translucent Powder. It looks like this. I don't think all um, blending sponges are the same. Now, there are good ones that you can get that aren't super expensive, but um, what this is a set that makes you look, that makes you look ashy. Um, what type of powder are you using? Like, if you don't mind me asking, like what, which one it is. Cause you may, is it one that looks banana powder? Is that banana? No, this one is a translucent powder that I only put on my highlighted areas. This right here is like banana powder, but it's called Buttercup by Sasha. Uh, if you feel like you're looking ashy, then you might be using just a too much powder. Make sure you tap off excess. When it comes to applying the powder on the translucent powder on my highlighted areas, I do do it a little bit heavier because I want it to set into the skin. 
but so it might be too much and then also when you are um, doing your contour you can add more warmth to it oh, okay so try something that is yellow okay so try something that is um, yellow tone like banana powder by Ben Nye or buttercup by Sasha and it, it will kind of make you look a little lighter and then you're gonna add warmth back to your face I am like putting makeup all over the place okay I can't show you guys but I'm using this palette city color just because all my little pieces are there and I am contouring now I just applied a setting powder by Sasha called Buttercup. I usually do put the powder a little bit on my neck. I am not a fan of putting foundation all the way down my neck. Right, I understand not wanting to look brighter. But I promise you if you just use a light layer, it won't make you look lighter you'll just set your foundation. Yes, I do my face in natural light. So my vanity is facing towards the window of my room. Just because yellow lights, it make everything look a little, it changes the, the color of what things look like. So, and I'm putting my contour powder just right underneath my neck, a, a, just a little bit. Oh, man. Okay. And now I'm using the lighter brown color that's in pieces, this one right here. And I'm just doing it up just above the contour. So just right here. Yes, you should change your foundations if during season changes. Why? Because a lot of times like in the summertime you get lighter and then in the in the in the summertime, in the winter time you get lighter cuz there's not a lot of sun. And then in the winter you usually get lighter. So you need to switch it up for seasons. Or maybe you could just buy one that you can add a little bit more darkness to your foundation. Okay, and then we're just going to do a light contour right there. Nothing fancy. And underneath the nose. And then wipe off the translucent powder. Do it. You'll be great. Uh, after watching me do this so many times, I'm sure you're going to be an expert. Okay, so we're done and um with that part and we're going to do our blush and so i'm using nyx bronzed and i love this blush this was about six dollars and it was i think we forgot to mention this one but it's a dupe that's in uh one of my palettes so I'm just applying a little bit and I'm going to pat it on. This is very subtle. It's like a really, really subtle um, blush, but I love it because it just gives you just enough, just enough color on your cheeks.
So it's almost, I don't know. I can't even explain why. Did, did I miss you talk on Primer? Oh, yeah, I use um, Smashbox. I use this primer right here. I, I've i never used the Milk of Magnesia. Um, I don't know why. I've just always been scared. Thank you. I love, love, love this blush. This blush is everything. So that's from NYX. And then I'm going to do my highlight, which is by MAC. It's called Gold Deposit. Aw, oh, thank you. He is my number one fan. He's super supportive. And he wakes up early with me. Because you guys, well, I woke up late today, but I wake up at 6 to prepare. Um, I try to do, like, some of my face so, to save time. Yeah, gold to Bahaza is everything. I will periscope on my skincare. Thank you. I will do that. I have to do it at night, though. All right. And that is the end of our makeup part. So let's talk lips. So if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I did, I posted the picture that I'm going for. No dupe for gold deposit. I tried one. I'll show you the dupe that I was going for. It was by NYX. And um, it was this one right here. And it actually came out all right. Like there it is right here. It came out okay. And this was like $8. However, the only issue is that it still looks a little silvery compared to Gold Deposit for MAC. The thing about Gold Deposit with MAC is it lasts a really long time. A really, really long time. So you can buy it, and I think it takes me almost a year. Uh, Dermalogica, thank you for getting me back on track, babe. So let's talk about this. This is one of our dupes. It's called LA. No, it's not called that. It's called Giggle. And it is by LA Pro Girl and it's a matte lipstick. This is what it looks like. And it's really bright. So to tone it down, I'm going to first line my lips with chestnut and blend everything together. So, Chestnut is by MAC. You'll line your lips lightly. You don't want it super dark. I should use Scotty. You know what I'm trying to get Scotty to do? It's called, it's called the boyfriend or husband tag where your spouse does your makeup. And he keeps fighting me on it. But he should, he should totally... Do it. He watches so many. He watches every day. Right? See? Babe, they said that would be awesome. <laughs> yes. I don't know why we did that. See, Scotty, there's room for you. So we're going to do that video. I'm going to convince him to do it. So a couple of things when I lined my lips. I had to make sure it was a good line, making sure that I don't go over, making sure I don't go over my lip line. This is the rule of thumb with your lip liner. If you want your lips to look smaller, you're going to go just below where it's a little bit lighter. Thick line lips. Okay, so that's. <laughs> um, so what you're gonna do if you have a thick, if you want your lips to look smaller, you're gonna go underneath. So you would do 
below your normal lip line, okay? But just a smidge, don't do too much. Just below. So right in there, if you want your lips to look bigger, you would go above your lip line, but then you're going to have to highlight it. So I'll do a tutorial on that too, because I know that's confusing, it's easier to show you guys. So here's the color. Thank you. And I'm just blending it. Blending it in to tone it down. Oh. Stain proof. Um, no, you're gonna have to really wipe this lipstick off. It, it's on there. So, to clean up my lips after it, I'm going to use my the same brush I did concealer with. And just clean up anything that fell below while I was blending. Wait, what is going on right here? <laughs> I do get dressed before I put my makeup on. All right, guys, and that is the Taraji P. Henson slash Cookie Lion inspired look. I am going to post, um, it was just a flat brush that I used for my concealer. Um, I will post her picture versus my picture just so you guys can see where the inspiration came from. They're not going to be exact because it was just an inspiration. And I will post my final look on my Instagram page. So if you are not, follow me on Instagram. My name is Deandra Giselle on all social media, Facebook, all of that. It's Deandra Giselle. Uh, the lip liner is called Chestnut and it's by MAC. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Tomorrow... Yes, I please tag me if you take a picture tag me or if you don't want to put it on your social media and tag me um, You can email it because I want to see how well you did because I know you're gonna do great <laughs> Yes, he always he will be saved Tomorrow, we're going to be doing blush application. I find my lip color pretty much everywhere, but this particular one is called LA Girl, and um, you can find it online. And also, uh, a lot of beauty supply stores have it, and drugstores have this brand, LA, LA Girl. So tomorrow we're doing blush application. I'm going to show you guys how to choose the right color for dark skin tones, how to apply placement brushes, all of that. So I will be doing that tomorrow. Wednesday is when I'll be talking about foundations, how to match them, how to, where to buy them, drugstore versus professional, all of that. That's Wednesday. Wednesday, who makes a pretty matte purple and a red lipstick? LA Pro Girl makes, this is their matte line. They have a good one. And um, NYX has a lot of, has a really pretty red called Monte Carlo and by NYX. And it, it goes on wet, like it goes on like gloss, but it dries matte. So they have a good one too. 
Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Wake Up to Makeup is Monday through Friday, 7 to 7.30 a.m. Sometimes you go a little bit further than 7.30. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, if there's anything you guys want to know or talk about, please come. Is there a way to avoid lip stain? I haven't been able to, but sometimes people say if you use a lip primer, it won't stain. But I just, I'm just not gonna buy a lip primer. I just use a uh, makeup wipe or a makeup remover to remove it. Thank you, you too. You have a blessed day. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing and interacting. It was great today. I love that you guys came. Thank you so much for the hearts. I see them still going up. I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m. Please email me, deandragiselle at gmail.com. If, um, if you guys are uh, want to tell me any topics you want to do, if you guys want to just tag me in pictures or show me, that would be great. So I appreciate it. And I appreciate the tip. A tip that just went up to um, help with staining of the lips is to put your foundation over your lips. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hearts. Work out that finger. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow. I am happy with the foundation, um, the two that I got. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye, beauties.